Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Thursday, May 30th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Listen, if you have yet to go over to DocSports.com and get that 20% off offer, you still can do so today on Thursday. In fact, you can do so right through Friday up until 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific when the prices go back to the regular price. Here's what it is. A week or a month of Major League Baseball or WNBA 20% off, either one or both. You can go grab mine. You can grab other cappers over at DocSports.com. Again, 20% off Major League Baseball or WNBA weekly and monthly packages. There's a code. It is MLB20WNBA. Again, write that down. MLB20WNBA. You go over to DocSports.com. Let's say you jump on my homepage at DocSports and you want to purchase a week of Major League Baseball. When you click on that, a little box is going to pop up and you enter the code MLB20WNBA. 20% off weekly and monthly packages in baseball and WNBA. And again, it's good through Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific time. Go check it out if you've yet to do so. All right, before I get to today's free pick, a quick couple of notes. Our NFL thumbnail sketches will return on tomorrow's video, we'll be talking about the Washington Redskins for the upcoming season on Friday's report. As far as NBA, well, we're back in action. Game one of the final starts tonight, finally, with Golden State at Toronto. Toronto laying one in most places. Uh, the total 213, 213 and a half. There are some one and a halfs on Toronto out there. As of Wednesday afternoon, there were a lot of both ones and pick, but the pick is gone. It's one, one and a half, mostly ones. For the Toronto Raptors and there was some talk over the last couple of days about three or four syndicates coming into uh, Las Vegas and really busting down on the Toronto Raptors in game one which helped move that number a little bit but that's where it is right now Toronto mainly a one point favorite total 213 213 and a half little advice on the NBA Finals MVP if you're going to get involved with some of the prop stuff Steph Curry right now is anywhere from a minus dollar 35 uh, favorite to win the NBA Finals all excuse me the MVP all the way up to minus a buck 80. So a buck 35 I've seen as the low, a buck 80 as the high. My thought is though, if you like Golden State to win the series, why not lay the series price with Golden State, which you can find as low as like minus 280, minus 285 as I cut this video, rather than having to worry about one particular player winning the NBA Finals. I know his teammates want to get him that trophy, but he's yet to win an NBA Finals MVP. That's why they're determined to get it for him. At the same time, there are other players on Golden State who can be the MVP and they win this series. On the flip side, if you like the Toronto Raptors to win the NBA Finals, why not go out and bet Kawhi Leonard to win the Finals MVP? Because his price, around plus 250 or so, is a little bit higher than Toronto to win the Finals. So it's just kind of the opposite approach of what you do with Golden State and Steph Curry when it comes to Toronto and Kawhi Leonard. Just a couple of thoughts there. You can increase your money a little bit if Toronto, if you feel they're going to win the series, just jump on Kawhi because listen, they're not going to win the NBA Finals without Kawhi Leonard being their MVP, I would think. So a couple of thoughts on that. As far as uh, what's going on for us, yesterday on Wednesday, we split. We went one and one over at DocSports.com, but we made some money because we had a four star on Houston. Uh, they came up short. They lost two to one. We had a five star on the St. Louis Blues who won for us three to two in overtime, St. Louis was plus $1.45, so made a nice little bit of money there on the five-star winning with that underdog price of $1.45 on the Blues. We look to sweep on Thursday. As I mentioned, I'm involved in the NBA Finals, game one Thursday night, going all the way back to the 2008 Finals when Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce teamed up to knock off the Lakers. We are now 42-23 and 23 against the spread with our last 65 NBA Finals picks and we've got game one over at DocSports.com on Thursday. I'm involved in Major League Baseball on Thursday. Got what we like to call a shocker, an underdog, and a decent-sized underdog for us over at DocSports.com that we think is going to win rather handily and cash the ticket over the favorite. That's over at DocSports.com also on Thursday. We'll be back at NHL action in a couple of days. We'll have our UFC picks posted on Friday night. We'll talk more about that when the time comes on Friday's video. And as far as the PGA, I'm sure some of you watching right now, PGA is probably already underway for you. I had three matchups that I put out uh, for this week's uh, Muirfield tournament and uh, at the Memorial. And uh, again, uh, we'll be watching that all weekend long. We'll be updating you on our videos each and every day. All right, let's get to our free pick for Thursday. We are going to take a look at the matchup between the Twins and the Rays. 
in Tampa Bay. Interesting pitching matchup here. You got Perez, Martin Perez, who the other day, by the way, we, we gave them out, we had them. And then of course they had that pitching change on Wednesday, excuse me, on Tuesday. The Twins went on to win that game, but because Perez scratched before the game started, uh, we didn't get to take advantage and cash the ticket. We got a no play, got our money back. He's going here, but I don't like Perez on the road like I like him at home at Target. Here's the thing about Perez, man. He just too many walks from this guy, not just in his last three out outings where he's walked like 10 or 11 batters and just over 16 innings pitched, but on the road in general, he's averaging over five walks per nine innings pitched. And again, you don't get away with those kind of numbers. On the flip side, you've got the Tampa Bay Rays. You've got Charlie Morton, who has been phenomenal since he got back into the American League, like 34 and 10 last 44 decisions. Charlie Morton, since he's been back in the AL, he's got no issues at all with his control. He's been incredible with the low amount of home runs allowed as the pitcher with Tampa Bay this season, which is a big deal because Minnesota is unbelievable when it comes to hitting that ball out of the field, but I don't think they're gonna do that against Charlie Morton. And by the way, this Tampa Bay Rays team happens to be 55 and 25 in the last 80 games at home. They're also on a 16 and five run at home when they're taking on a team with a road win percentage above 600, 16 and five, that's phenomenal stuff. So is 55 and 25. And so is the fact that Charlie Morton is just tearing it up. And again, he's hamstringing teams that can hit home runs doesn't give up the long ball. So we're gonna back the Tampa Bay Rays for the free pick here, about minus $1.30 in that neighborhood. Give or take a couple of cents, follow up yesterday's win, hopefully, which was on the Angels over Oakland. So again, the Tampa Bay Rays, the free pick. Don't forget about the plays over at DocSports.com on Thursday, game one of the NBA Finals, a big shocker play in Thursday's Major League Baseball. And of course, you've got that 20% uh, offer over at DocSports.com, 20% off weekly or monthly packages in baseball or WNBA, good through Friday, 11 p.m. Eastern. Go take advantage. All right, listen, I'm Scott Spritzer of DocSports.com. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll be right back here Friday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Let's put Thursday in the win column.